Hello everybody, this is Moses from Zata Gardens. I'm going to walk around the garden because there are some fruit trees and nut trees that are flowering and I just want to document it. Not all of them are flowering, but some are and some are just about to open soon. So let's take a walk around. So we'll start off with the almond. This is an all-in-one almond. There's only two flowering right now, that one and this one. They produce white and pink flowers, very beautiful. Here in the Central California, um, here in Central California Zone 9B, we produce most, if not almost all, almonds um, eaten in the world. And after the rain or after these are spent flowers, it, all this white and pink petals fall to the floor. So the orchards, the almond orchards, are just, it looks like there's snow all over the ground for acres. Just really beautiful. A lot of people take pictures of it. Let's go to the next tree. And right over here is my Flavor Delight Aprium. So this produced, I think about, I didn't count one by one, but I think about 200, 250. Let's see if I get the um, Apriums last year, but just delicious. Deli the, the best tasting apricot you've ever had ever um, it's I believe 75 um, parent of apricot 25 of plum and just really delicious look at that beautiful isn't it I'll let the bees get going what they need to do there's about maybe seven eight bees all right next tree here we go come on Lulu show us the way it's not a fruit tree it's blueberries the one's opening right here as you can see, that little bell. This is Sunshine Blue Blueberry, and this is Misty. Beautiful plants, beautiful. An acid-loving plant planted next to Zatar plants, which are alkaline-loving plants, coexisting in one. And in about a couple of months, this will be full of leaves and bushy that I have to prune out again. And right here is the Dapple Dandy Pluot. This is highly regarded as an amazing piece of fruit, which it is. Just take a look at that. I believe it's a uh, parent, 75% plum, 25% uh, apricot, hence the word plu, plum, pluot, apricot, pluot, Dapple Dandy, or dinosaur egg. Beautiful, isn't it? Last year, I... I I'll put a, a link in the video of one uh, year where I just couldn't eat anymore. Um, so we donated and we gave to neighbors and things like that. And still so much left over. Two buckets, as you see over there, two buckets full of rotten fruit that fell that I couldn't get to fast enough, unfortunately. Now right here is the Vernon White Sapote. Uh, I don't think any have opened yet, but imagine you see the clusters of flowers, as you can see. Now imagine this whole tree is like that, as you can see. The Subel, though, the Subel is flowering and opening up. And I think the Vernon has a couple fruit on it. Let's see, right over here. As you can see right there. Now right here, right in the center of my backyard garden, is the most spectacular flower I have, the donut peach. It is amazing how beautiful this flower is. If I could find the video on YouTube, on my channel, I'll link it up in the video right now so you can see a pr last year's video of this. But this has the brightest, largest, pinkest flower. Is pinkest the word? Oh well, ever. And it is my most vigorous tree. I have to prune this four to five times a year, sometimes six. And you could see, without even them opening yet, how bright the flower is. Do you see that color? Simply amazing. The brightness. 2021 is going to be very good this year with production, definitely. Um, I'll keep you all updated and create more videos in the future on what's uh, going on. Happy gardening, everyone.